One of the greatest debates in indoor growing today is what is the best grow medium? Hydroponics, soil, or cocoa blend? Hydroponics is the use of pumps and reservoirs to water your plants using a soilless medium. Cocoa blend is the natural fiber extracted from coconuts that look and feel very similar to soil, but doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. So the answer to what's better, it depends on your preferences and what's your goal with growing. Setup. In general, the setup for soil and cocoa blend is a lot easier and cheaper than setting up for hydroponics. However, hydro can be more cost effective in the long run. For soil and cocoa blend, all you have to do to set up is to set up your lights, set up your grow tent, then fill your pot and you're ready to start planting. But if you're more the DIY type who would love to craft a laboratory as a garden, hydroponics plays toward your strengths in a big way. Pre-made sets from growers.com will save you hours on your setup and are more compact than most do-it-yourself systems. Typically, our hydroponic systems take about 20 minutes to set up. Yield. If your main goal is to produce as much plant as possible, hydroponics is the way to go. Hydroponic plants grow up to twice as fast. Professional growers have seen 15 to 20% more yields with hydro when compared to soil. And it can cut your grow time from seed to harvest by one to two weeks. People have stated that plants grown in soil taste better, but that's really subjective to the person. Watering. When growing in soil, the optimum pH for nutrient absorption is 6.0 to 7.0. For hydroponics, the ideal pH is between 5.5 to 6.5. It's important to note that pH is a logarithmic scale, meaning even a 0.1 difference is a lot. You can adjust your pH of your watering solution with buffers like pH up and pH down. It's important to note, don't stick your pH pen all the way into the water like I'm doing here. They're not waterproof, and so I actually broke my pH pen like this. Even though it seems like hydroponics would use more water, it actually uses significantly less because the water is being recycled through the system over and over again. With soil, you only have to water every few days and not have to worry about the plants between watering. This is a great option for people that are busy with their lives and don't want to constantly monitor the health of their plants. But the main problem with soil comes with overwatering. Because soil can retain so much water, it can actually suffocate the plant by not allowing any oxygen to get to the roots. Because of that, we recommend mixing your soil with 30% perlite to help with drainage and to help get more air to the roots. Overwatering isn't really a concern when growing with hydroponics or with cocoa blend. Cocoa blend definitely drains a lot better than soil. One of the key benefits with hydroponics is that watering is automated, which brings me up to the next point, scaling up. Scaling up is a lot easier with hydroponics because the watering happens all at once and it's automated. You don't have to manually water each plant. Most commercial growers use hydroponics to save costs on labor and to reduce human error. When growing in soil, to provide most of the nutrients, all you have to do is just buy the proper soil. This will take care of most of your nutrient needs. However, you still need to add additional nutrients, especially since your plants will be consuming the nutrients in the soil and those nutrients have to be replaced. But on the other hand, cocoa blend is the opposite. It's like a blank canvas. You'll have to supply all the nutrients throughout the use of this medium. Cocoa blend does have a source of potassium, iron, manganese, zinc, and copper, but you will absolutely need to supply a, a base nutrient, such as oneness, and also supply micronutrients like calcium and magnesium. With hydroponics, you will need a complete set of nutrients. For example, you can go with the oneness set, which includes oneness, the base nutrient, white widow for root growth, cal as a calcium supplement, and ginormous, which is for flowering because a plant's nutrition needs change when it flowers. Or you can go with a two-part program like Master A and Master B, which will have all your macro and micronutrients needed for vegging. The package also includes White Widow and Ginormous as well. It's really important to note that nutrients made for soil and nutrients made for hydroponics and cocoa blend are completely different. If you're growing with soil, buy nutrients or tea compost specifically made for soil. If you're growing with hydroponics or cocoa blend, then you can buy your typical hydroponic nutrients. Using hydroponic nutrients on a plant that's growing in soil will very quickly lead to an overnutrition, 
eventually leading to the death of your plant. Pests, bugs, and soil diseases. If you already have problems with bugs in your house, it's recommended for you to go Cocoa Blend or Hydro because with the lights and the smell, the bugs will definitely find your plants and they'll usually find home in the soil. They can end up eating your plants or leaving diseases. Even though Cocoa Blend does look a lot like soil, it definitely doesn't attract as much pests. When I grew with Cocoa Blend, I never ran into any bug or pest problems, but when I did grow with soil, I ran into a lot. Convenience. Soil is a lot more forgiving towards new growers. Plants grown in soil take longer to show problems and are slower to recover. The soil acts as a buffer if you give the plants the wrong pH. Plants grown in hydroponics react very quickly to nutrient problems, so they may die within a day or two. But the problems can also be corrected quicker as well. Hydroponics will take more room and will be more noisy than growing with cocoa blend or soil. Because you'll need to make room for the pipes and the reservoir, and the water pumps will also make noise. However, hydroponic plants typically don't need to be transplanted or they only have to be transplanted once if you have a separate area for germinating. Also, transplanting is a lot easier with hydroponics, especially with rock wool cubes. Whereas with soil and cocoa blend, you'll have to do two or three transplants during its lifetime because if the plant is too big or too small for a pot, it can cause a lot of problems with root growth. Also, a lot of growers like to start with a smaller pot during early phases of a plant's life cycle to save space. It's also important to note that hydroponic plants will suffer a lot more during a power outage because it's reliant on water pumps. So if you're in a place that's prone to blackouts, it's recommended to avoid hydroponics. Closing. So the real question isn't which grow medium is the best. Rather, you should ask the question, which grow medium is the best for my preferences and what am I trying to do? Soil. So the pros of growing with soil is that you're not gonna have to add as much nutrients. You only have to add additional supplemental nutrients later on. Another benefit is that you won't have to water your plants every day. On top of that, soil is very new friendly. It's a very forgiving medium if you mess up. However, keep in mind that soil is more likely to attract bugs and pests, which is a problem, but it can be avoided with the right prevention. It takes longer to grow in soil compared to hydro and cocoa. And a big major problem is that it's very easy to overwater with soil. All right, next let's talk about cocoa blend, which is a mix of coir and croutons. The pros of cocoa blend is that it's kind of like a gateway to hydroponics because it's more forgiving than full hydro. You get the benefits of having complete control over your nutrients. Also, cocoa contains the beneficial fungus trichoderma, which slowly releases potassium. Also, cocoa can be reused again, so it makes it a really good value. One of the problems with cocoa blend is that it doesn't contain any calcium at all. So it's very important if you ever grow in cocoa is to have a calcium and magnesium supplement. One of the more common complaints about cocoa is that it also tends to lose its taste compared to plants grown in soil. Hydroponics. The pros with hydroponics is that you have the capability of having explosive yields. You also have the choice to half a dozen non-soil mediums to grow in. And one of the biggest benefits with hydroponics is that watering is automated. But the thing to consider is that you have to constantly monitor your system. You also risk losing your plants during a blackout and you'll see an overall increase in your electricity bill with all the pumps, timers, and flushing that you'll need to do. If you're confused by any of the terminology used in this video, check out our video on Grow Lingo, where we define a lot of the terminology used in the growing world. In future videos, we'll be going over the differences between hydroponic systems, the best way to avoid pests, and talk more about nutrition. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos.